Famous, huh? The Ella the made us, huh? You know I'm Pisces and Vegas, huh? This is the that hate us, huh? I make a lot of new money, huh? When the it's not save us, huh? You be liking my flavor, huh? I think it's God. Ice on the wrist, call the wrist, call the wrist. Watch out, dude. Okay, Coach, thank you. We are about 4,300 miles away from you there in Orlando as we come to you from the European home of the NFL, London, England. Ahead, we'll decide the second entrant to next week's NFC title game as we've got a great one in store between the Chicago Bears and the London Monarchs. the fourth and final ticket to the conference championship round. We'll know soon enough as we are underway here on a January afternoon. Let's go! Let's do this! Officially a loss of two on the first play from scrimmage. Second down. I like the strategy. Extra tight ends, extra beef. They want to run the football. But that means they probably want to run it inside. If you get strung out on the perimeter, you're in peril. Yeah, we saw the result. Negative yardage. So the opening play of the drive goes backwards. Now they'll come up on second and 12. Let's pick it up. It's our time, guys. Our time. Let's get off the field. From the gun, Vic. That's complete to the former Aggie, Jay Sternberger. 19 yards to pick up there. Move the chains. I do believe we'll see a little bit more of this as this game progresses because when you can have that type of a game in the middle of the defense, it hurts them in so many ways because 
most teams like to be strong down the middle. And if you can sting them there, that open things up for you on the outside as well. That's where he, their big tight end, is so good. That middle third, the seam routes, the in routes. Yeah, you're right. Probably see more of that. Yeah, it takes a lot of courage and fortitude to go in the middle as well. <laughs> and he's got it. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. Call it no gain on the keeper, and it's going to bring up a third down. No gain on the play. It's now third and eight. Set, cut. Go to base. I'm coming for you, son. I'm coming for you, son. Three. Walk it wide. He's crashing. He's checking crash. And this time they'll throw it with Vic. And that one drops incomplete as he got popped as he was throwing it. So the defense able to get off the field here on third down. And it's one of the goals of the game. They've got to be effective on passing downs. It's one of the few things defenses chart. How did we do on third down? That's a nice start for them in this one. A great return there of 22 yards. And the Bears take over. Here's the first carry for Tariq Cohen. And this one goes nowhere. Losing yardage back at the 22. It's a loss of two there, bringing up second down. Nice play right there to stop him behind the line, but I want to see how this defense continues to play him here in the first half. Yeah, we know. You know better than I. He has the ability to take over a game. So what do you do? Yeah, I think you have to make sure that you bottle him in at varying levels. Because if you crowd everyone to the line of scrimmage, he breaks through. Well, this is taken in. It's complete. Touchdown, Chicago. Allen Robinson, 78 yards. And his guys are able to strike first here in this opening quarter. Extra point up and good by Catanzaro. And it's now a 7-0 game. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. This will be taken in at the one. The offense now at the line, ready for their next drive. They trail here early in this division round game as they seek a spot in the NFC title bout. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight yard gain, second and two. A nice run here early on. It doesn't take a great play call to realize you want to establish a guy of his caliber with runs like this early because they'll pay dividends as the game progresses. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. It'll go as a loss of a yard, and it'll set up third down. 
Plays like we just saw there. That's why they're up right now. And the defense, they're doing their job. Yeah, it starts with the guys up front. So when you talk with GMs who are putting together a team, a lot of them say we're going to build from the inside out because if you control the line of scrimmage, you control the rest of the ball game. And that's what we're seeing here. They're actually playing in the offense's backfield, not necessarily just playing at the line of scrimmage. Fighting through pressure. And a big loss here as he's taken down. Got to give him points for the attempt, but there's just a wave of pressure there. A host of people in the area. Evades a few, but couldn't evade all of them. Here's J.K. Scott now. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. That'll be put in the books as a 53-yard punt. And the offense will take over with a new set of downs. At the line, prepping for their next drive, the Bears offense. They'll be looking to duplicate that first drive, the one that got them that 7-0 lead. Of course they would. I mean, look, they're on the road. So getting the 7-0 lead was huge for them, right? Imagine getting up two touchdowns on the road, taking the crowd out of the game. It'd be ideal. A loss of a yard there to start out. That leads to a 2nd and 11. Throwing now is Mahomes. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Didn't have a receiver open downfield, and as it turned out, couldn't even find his outlet, man, because of the coverage. It's way too tight. Unable to find anyone open. Now the offense going to use the first of their timeouts. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. 58, right over there, right over there. Yeah, yeah, Mike, 58, right there. I don't even know why this team showed up. 58 for Mike, 58, 58 for Mike. 43, 43. Switch, switch. Yellow, yellow. Right there. Working from the gun, Mahomes. Flushed out right. On the run, he'll let this go deep right side. It's caught inside the 25. Come on, fellas. A huge play there for Chicago. And even 50 yards. How about this first quarter for them throwing the football? This defense has zero answers for what they've seen so far with the ball in the air. I'm not sure how they're going to change things around, but offensively, I keep attacking. I keep throwing the football until they make me change. So the big play gets him all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and ten. First down, a run with Cohen. And he's only going to get a yard from the 20 to the 19. We've caught a lot of games, but we don't normally talk about inside linebackers being that fleet of foot, do we? No, he, he was able to get outside there to make that play. Yeah, and you know what makes them faster? Their ability to read plays, understand what offenses are trying to do, and put themselves in proper position. On second and nine, Mahomes. And his throw here is incomplete. Blake Martinez, the linebacker, was there in coverage to disrupt. Let's give some credit to the defensive guys on that play. Able to bat that one away. Sure looked like they were trying to hit the corner route. Now hold everything here. We're going to get a timeout by the offense. And that's their second charge timeout here in this first quarter. They're down to one remaining. After an incomplete pass on second down, that'll leave them trying to convert on third and nine. Here we go. 36, 36. 
Shotgun snap to Mahomes. And he's going to be taken down here. A sack back at the 32. Frank Clark drops him for a loss of 12, and it also brings up fourth down. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. And his kick is absolutely perfect. And the lead moves to 10 zip. So that's a seven play drive that ultimately stalls out there at the end. Now, things were a little leaky in the beginning on that drive, weren't they? But how about the front seven? As they got closer to the goal line, things stiffened a little bit, forced the field goal. And he'll make it across the 20 as his guys will set up shot at the 23 yard line. The offense back out there at the line, ready for their next drive. They've had it twice. they punted twice. Not the start they were hoping for. Not at all. And let's face it, every facility we visit, everyone talks about converting on third down, how big that is. In this situation, they've had to punt it away twice. So they're furiously going over things on the sidelines. What do we need to do to pick up a first down and change our momentum? From up near the 40 now after the big play to start. Here's another first and 10. And again this time to the tailback. He'll take this from the 40 up to the 45 for a gain of five. Despite the blitz, they're still able to pick up a nice solid gain. The disadvantage of blitzing often alters the normal spacing and run fits and leaves creases like they were able to exploit right there. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. Man out, man out, man out, man out. <laughs> now a give right side. Whitfield. And he'll only get a yard, maybe two, up to the 46. Some of these play calls, I think they're a little conservative. But you know me, because it's easy to sit up in this booth, right, and make all the calls and, and think I'm going to be correct. But I would like to see them open things up. Because otherwise, this defense is going to gang up on the run and set them down. Push them back. Push them back. Third and short yardage, Vic. He's going to go for a big play downfield. And unable to connect. Incomplete. Now give them credit, they took their shot, but it's going to bring up fourth down. Well, earlier in the quarter when the defense was keying on the run, you said offensively they need to open things up, take some shots downfield. Didn't work there, but they did. Yeah, I'm not going to change my tune now. I still think it's the right play because when you take those shots downfield, you open the eyes of the defense to what you could do to them, and that may open some things up for you offensively. The Bears offense ready to go for their next drive. And they split the uprights last time for three. They've got the lead. They're not going to play this conservative. They're not hoping for another field goal. They're hoping for a touchdown. I'm with you on that one. I like where your head is. I like the way you're thinking because you're exactly right. Trying to sit on a lead and play that way, that doesn't work too well for most teams. Run your offense. Run what you do best. Exactly. Put it all the way down and try to increase your lead in a big way. And the best way to do it, touchdowns. Second and nine now from the 21. To throw, it's Mahomes. And he finds a man on the crossing route. He'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. A gain there of 30 big ones. I know we love our jobs, and pretty much any play we see, we're pretty, you know, excited about. But big plays, 
let's face it, that's what we absolutely live for. How about that one? That was great. And what our camera missed was the fist pump from the sideline after that catch. They're fired out. That's a big game. So the line of scrimmage moves all the way across the 50 now as they come up first and 10. And some room to work. And past the 35, he'll be dropped a yard or two shy of the 30. A good pickup, 17 yards and a bare first down. A big hole there. How about him handling the point of attack? Just positioning himself so that that run could go right off of his backside and deep into the secondary. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. First down, here's White. He's got a first down and much more inside the 20. And he is in. Touchdown, Chicago. A great effort there. 32 yards as the Bears push further out in front. Solid job up front. Really just a solid job all the way around to get that one in. That was well executed, wasn't it? Well blocked, well run. End result, six points. Touchdown. Extra point good by Catanzaro, and that makes our score 17-0. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And he'll take it back to about the 19-yard line. The offense now at the line, ready for their next drive. And we don't want to call this desperation time, especially in the second quarter, but you you're don't down. Want to. No, but well, let me finish. Okay, my bad. You're down three scores already. You've done nothing offensively, nothing on the scoreboard. That's that's not a good combination. I think you just you called it. I think you just called it desperation time. <laughs> I, I think did. you did. But let's face it, you mentioned this to me in a break earlier in the game. The energy level hasn't been there right from the start. We've noticed that. They've got to find a way to get on their toes and start punching instead of retreating to use a boxing analogy. On second down, Whitfield, and he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. The tally there, minus two yards, brings up third down. That's oh, a tough one right there. He ran right into the teeth of the blitz as the linebacker was freed up in order to stuff that one for a loss. I think quarterbacks got to see that, got to find a way to audible into something a little more advantageous. I'm coming after you. I'm coming after you. 48, 48 for Mike. Come on, baby, come on, let's go. On third down, Vic out of the gun. He's got the tight end, Sternberger. Two catches now in this divisional round matchup. That one, a first down. An ex-teammate used to tell me all the time, I hate experienced quarterbacks because no matter what, you really can't hide what you're doing. And I think that right there, he knew right away where the blitz was coming from, where his primary guy was going to be, and he ended up going to a secondary target for a nice game. I was just going to ask you, that wasn't the primary target. It, he's so good at that, isn't he? I think he knew right away that he wasn't going to get to his primary guy. I think he read that as soon as he got to the line of scrimmage, knew where the pressure was going to come from, and said, ah, I know how to beat that, and that's what he did. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. 65, Now the man from UTEP. This is Aaron Jones, and he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. We remind you, as we've done all year, that coming up at halftime, we will visit with Jonathan Coachman standing by in Orlando. He'll let you know what's going on here on a very eventful divisional round weekend. Trying for Brown, and it's intercepted. Picked off at the 40. And he returns it into enemy territory down to the 45-yard line. The struggles continue here offensively. Still nothing for him on the scoreboard, and now an interception. Yeah, the offense looks extremely sluggish, not really in sync at all. Dare I say, it looks like it got left behind in customs. Oh, you've had that in your back pocket. You were waiting for that. 
I should have left it in my back pocket, too. Well played. Now the first play of the drive there is incomplete. Got out of the pocket. Didn't look like he had anybody open, Charles, so just gets rid of it. And a good play by him. If no one's open and you don't have a running lane that you want to take, make the right choice, get rid of it, live to fight another down. It's a gain of about three, but it's going to leave them with third and still seven yards to go. Earlier this half, you were wondering how the defense was going to handle him defensively. Were they going to bottle him up at different levels, so to speak, is what you said. What have you seen so far? Well, I think they've been absolutely terrific because it feels like on every play, if we were watching this in the film room, when you clicked off the film or stopped it, you would see 11 shirts of that same color right there in the frame trying to tackle it. That's what you're looking for. Creeping up on a minute to play in this first half. Now the Bears will use their third and final timeout as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. And they'll need to get to the 35 if they want to keep this drive going on third down. It's Mahomes. And almost picked off. I guess the good news for them now, it's fourth down. More problems here on third down. They've converted only once so far in this first half. And you know as well as I do in this league, if you don't win on third down, it makes it hard to win a ball game because then you're relying on your defense, you're relying on your special teams. You've got to get it done with your offensive unit. They got the interception, but very little movement after, and that forces him to settle for three. And it does feel like settling when that happens, doesn't it? It certainly does, but we got to give a lot of credit where it's due, and that's to the defense because they ran onto the field. It's what we call sudden change, right? Interception, you got to go put out the fire, and they did, holding them to a field goal. Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! The offense back out there at the line, ready for their next drive. And you have to figure they won't just sit on the football here in the final minute. The way things have gone, they need to try to make something happen offensively. But maybe they should. Maybe they should sit on it here because of what you just said. They haven't made anything happen offensively. Getting ready to go into the half, give them a chance to take a deep breath, exhale a little bit, and start over. I don't know if this is the time to push it myself. Yeah, right now, under 100 yards of total offense. They'll break the huddle, come up on second and eight at the 27-yard line. Now this time he'll look to throw. Oh, he cannot get away. Down goes Vic. Brandon, if I'm an offensive coordinator and I see an all-out rush like that, I file it away because I'm going to use their aggressiveness against them as this game goes on. I'm going to hit them with a screen soon. And unless this is a quick incompletion, this is likely the last play here of this first half. This will be the final play of the half. Vic, he's going to wind up and air it out. And it's knocked away and incomplete. So we've come upon halftime here in this NFC Divisional Round matchup. As it's time now to send you back stateside to Orlando, Florida and check in with Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach, a trip to the NFC title game hanging in the ballot. Second half action back underway. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And he'll take this up past the 20 and down at the 22-yard line. Let's go! At the line, prepping for their next drive, the Bears offense. They built a good first half lead. Now they have a chance to add on to it. And what I'm thinking is that the offensive staff spent the entire halftime just working with them on, here's what we think they're going to do to attack. Thrown across his body, and it's intercepted. Picked off at the 25. And his guys will take over at the 25-yard line. The offense now at the line, ready for their next drive. On first down, Whitfield. And he's upended after a gain of two out to the 27. 
They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. After the run, here's second and eight from the 27. Hey, look, 48. Look, hey, we're going to make the 48 right now. Let's go. Hey, we got to get to the ball, D. We got to get to the ball. To throw, Vic. Got him in. It's Brown. Marquise Brown, 73 yards. And his guys are able to cut into that deficit. The extra point splits the uprights, and that cuts this lead down to 13. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. That's fielded in the end zone. And the decision to bring it out will cost him about five yards as he'll get this only back to the 20. The Bears offense ready to go for their next drive. And last time, one play interception, so this offense, they should be fresh. <laughs> That's a good way of putting it. And I can't wait to see what they decide to do with play calling because a one-play drive where you throw an interception, a lot of people think the very next time out, run the football, don't give them a chance. Maybe play action? I think maybe you go play action, show your quarterback, get a little confidence in him, and let him fling another one. So now they have to contend with second and 13 after the first down run goes backwards. Mahomes going to throw. Eluding the pressure right. That is caught by Cohen. And he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. That one a gain of 20 and a first down. Sometimes it's designed, and sometimes you just have to know when to leave the pocket and move and make something happen. And on that play, he was able to get on the run and was still accurate throwing the football. Now they'll run it with Cohen. It's a pickup of 10 and a Bears first down. Running lanes were at a premium in the first half, but he's able to find some room there, and he's hoping that that's a precursor of a big second half. On first down, they go right back to Cohen. And this time, the yards won't come so easy as they'll, in fact, tackle him behind the line. So they will accept the penalty and move forward. Now they'll try to take advantage of that offsides call. Here's first and five. Looking to throw is Mahomes. Buying time to his left. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. Brandon, it looked like he had his hands on it for a moment, but let, let's face it, that was going to be a tough catch all the way because of the presence of the Come defense on. right there as he was trying to haul it in. Yeah, nice job to force the incompletion. On second down now, it's Cohen. Tough first half for him, unable to put up the numbers he's used to producing. But with a guy like him, you and I both know it just takes a couple of explosive touches for him to make an impact on this game and on the stat sheet as well. Try to pick this up on the ground with White. And he's got the first down yardage before he's brought down at the 42. It's a gain of four there, and it gives him a new set of downs. And the Bears first down. There's a little eight. All day, dog. Check, 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 check
On first down, Mahomes. Flush to his right. On the run, he'll let this go deep. Got his man, and it's caught for a Chicago touchdown. A big play there. 42 yards as the Bears push further out in front. Well, after their wild card round game last week, you and I said, wow, they played pretty well. Maybe they got a shot at keeping this one close. <laughs> They've done more than keep this one close. Yeah, they've made quite a statement, haven't they? And I don't know if it was the week off that hurt this defense, but they've been flat from the get-go, and that's always a coach's fear. Okay, you earn the open week, but you wonder how they'll respond with that extra time off. Yeah, it seems like they've been running uphill all game. Extra point up and good by Captain Zero. And the decision to just kick the extra point winds up successful. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And he'll bring it a few past the 20 to the 23-yard line. The offense back out there at the line, ready for their next drive. I guess they have to feel a little gratified to at least get on the board last time, but still work to do. No doubt about it. I wonder now if they're going to try to increase the urgency a little bit, maybe pump up the pace, maybe go two minute. Who knows? Let's see what they decide to do. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here, and if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, get a couple of first downs, run some plays, run some clock, allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave up a score. From the 27, Vic steps away to his left. Eight yards that time, able to take off, and the result is a first down. Partner, he was going through his progressions. Not there, not there. After about the third one, he decided he better pull it down and run for it. And he slides down and avoids the hit for good measure. First down, Vic. And now finally, he'll be forced to go down, just protecting the football, hitting the turf. It's a sack. I think we've seen this before. Someone's down three scores. That situation there. It's just going to add to their growing frustrations, don't you think? Yeah, a bad number three right now. Three-score game, third quarter, three and out, not what they wanted. And you can tell on the sideline, those faces are getting a little bit longer as this one goes. Oh, a scrap for the football, and he's going to come down with it. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. 15 yards on the play, first down. Two first downs have him up near midfield now on first and ten. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he's got it across midfield and into Bear territory. Give him a couple on the carry there, second and eight. Well, they had that one sniffed out. Excellent run blitz. Stopped that one for a short gain. What makes a good run blitz a good run blitz? The ability to stay on task, to follow up your assignment, go to the gap you're supposed to cover, and not be deterred by anything else. From just shy of midfield, Vic trying for Brown, and it's intercepted. Picked off near the 42, and he'll take it across midfield and down to the 48-yard line. Oh, timing is everything on a route like this. He tried to drive that football into a tight spot. And if you're a little early or a little late, chances are there's going to be someone there. And sure enough, this one's going the other way. Yellow. I'm the blue lady. We got double tight. Watch out. Three down, three down. So after the INT, here's Mahomes. Forced out to his left. And he just gets rid of it. Throws it away. A wise move there. Looked like nobody open. Now second down. After the incomplete pass here now is second and ten. They'll run on second down with Cohen. And he's corralled, but not before getting it inside the 35. 14 yards into Chicago first down. Sometimes it's hard to believe, but... There are times this game is about patience, isn't it? 
has had the game he expected, but that run there, that may get him going. I was just going to say, maybe that gives him a little juice because you're right, he struggled, especially in that first half. Yeah, and I know the great ones always think to themselves, just hang in there. I'm just one big carry away from busting this open. That's a good start for him. One quarter remains for a trip to the NFC title game. And that'll do it for the end of the second quarter. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Escaping the pressure right. And his throw is incomplete. And the incompletion there stops the clock. Any surprise they're throwing here late? Ordinarily, yes, because you would think enough is enough. They've got plenty of lead. But I've seen this a bunch of times as well. The defense is going to crowd the line of scrimmage. If you just hand it off inside, you're getting your running back popped a lot as well. Sometimes the defense dictates it. If they're going to crowd it, you may have no other choice but to throw it downfield. On second down, it's Cohen. They get six here after the incompletion, and it'll leave them with a third and four. The Bears on third down. They've hit two for four thus far. This is third and four. 56 to Mike. 56 to Mike. Coming in. Come on. Kill, kill, kill. Kill, kill, kill. Watch out. Watch out. Mahomes now to throw. It's complete to Robinson. And they're going to mark him down short, maybe by about a yard, if that. They stop him for only three that time, and that'll bring up fourth down. Matt Nagy has made the decision. They're going to go for it here. Yellow, yellow. They'll try and run for it. And he's going to get the first down as they bring him down at the 23. They only got a couple, but a couple's all that they needed as they convert on fourth. Mahomes now on first down. Flushed out right. Wilson's got it complete. And they'll work it inside the 15-yard line before it's all said and done. First catch for him in these playoffs. He was held without one last week, but he's got a first down on that effort. They'll run on first down. Cohen. And he'll be taken down here at about the 11. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. Sometimes you're aligned perfectly and the play comes to you. And sometimes you got to cover some ground to go make the play as we just saw there. We saw a great, great example of perseverance right there on that play. Got to be careful. They might want to throw one over his head as this game progresses. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. That's very well timed there defensively because it's not a bad throw, but the collision came at the exact time. He was reaching to bring in the football. Really, really well done. Decent offense, just better defense. I think you're right. Eluding the pressure right. And that is caught. Touchdown, Bears. C.J. Uzama there to make the grab as the Bears push further out in front. Extra point good by Catanzaro. And the decision to just kick the extra point winds up successful. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. This is fielded a couple yards deep. The offense now at the line, ready for their next drive. And there are parts of their last drive they'd like to emulate. Of course, they'd like to forget the inning, the interception. But they did put together, Charles, a nice sustained drive to get him down the field. Yeah, and unfortunately for them, the only thing that matters is part two, right? Because once they threw the interception and finished off the drive, that does them no good to go back and say, well, you know, we had a good one going. Finish things off. That's the only way you can get it done. Officially nothing on that last run. Check, They'll try again second check, and ten. Check, 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 check. Mike, 48. Mike, 48. Oh, 
From the shotgun, it's Vic. And he'll be hit as he releases it, and that'll fall incomplete. Just nothing there again. He's been sacked multiple times. We've seen the interceptions, of course. Uh, he's really been through the ringer, hasn't he? And what we've seen is a defense is well-coordinated. The front and the back really in sync. The front putting on the pressure. The backside being ball hawks and picking passes off. The offense on third down, they've had their troubles. Just one for six. This is third and ten. Vic to throw it. And a big loss here as he's taken down. That right now, that's a defeated team out there. I think you can see it totally in their body language. Hands on hips, heads low. Uh, it's just been a struggle from the start. Yeah, this team has been thoroughly beaten right from the word go. Oh, the return is Cohen. Nice job bringing that one back. 14 on the return. And possession will switch. Hands first and 10. At the line, prepping for their next drive, the Bears offense. We've got a lopsided game here. I don't know, Charles, what does the handbook say that we, we discuss when we've got a game like this in the fourth quarter? Hold a second. Let me, let me thumb to the proper page on that. Know what it says? What? Let's discuss how we got here. This is a dominant performance, where they took control of this game, how they've managed to keep control of this game, and then we go ahead and think about how we're going to leave here and get to the airport. <laughs> In a lopsided blowout, the roads are usually open. Yellow, six, four, eight, eight. Three, six. <laughs> hey, 57, 57 color, 57 color. Watch it. Slam. Watch it. To throw again on second down. Mahomes flushed to his right. Oh, he's going to let this go for the end zone. And this is intercepted, but they'll say out of bounds. Oh, very close to a turnover there in the end zone. Allen Robinson, the intended receiver. And it'll bring up third down. Now here's Mahomes. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked off near the 42. He's got a convoy, and he might be gone. And he will take this one home. It's a touchdown. The call is to go for one and kick the extra point. And the lead is down to 20. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. That'll be taken in the end zone. And he'll get across the 20 before he's brought down at about the 23-yard line. The Bears offense ready to go for their next drive. Yeah, let's get a sack lunch. They start to drive with White. And he'll take it forward for about five up to the 28-yard line. And when do they start thinking about burning these timeouts? They've got all three still defensively. To me, you have to start right now. Here's the time, and that means you've got to stop them on defense, not give up the yardage, use your timeouts in order to get the ball back and try and score yourself. But now is the time to start using those timeouts. And keep in mind, it'll also stop the clock at the two-minute warning. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So the Bears with the football here as we welcome you back. And the scoreboard on their side, they're just looking to melt away these final couple of minutes and put this one in the left-hand column. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. 18 yards on that one, and Chicago has the first. Now, this is an example of breaking down a defense because on a lot of these runs, he's getting past the point of attack. And guess what he's doing? Forcing the secondary guys to have to make a lot of tackles. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. 
Well, we just saw a great example of what we talked about with his coach prior to the game. He's definitely one of the better linebackers of reading the play and flowing to make the stop before it turns into something big. On second down now, it's Cohen. And they go backwards here, losing yardage back at the 48-yard line. Officially, it will go as a one-yard loss, and that's going to lead to a third down. And they have secured a spot in the conference championship. And now you can start to smell it at this point in the season, can't you? You really can because the focus has been one game at a time, not looking ahead. But when you get to the conference championship game and you know you're there,